Cantred Gwaelod by Gillian Clark. The morning after, the beach at Borth is a graveyard, a petrified forest thundered out of the sand by the storm. Drowned by the sea six thousand years ago when the earth was flat, the horizon the edge of the world. Remains of stilted walkways tell their story, how they walked over water between trees, longing for a lost land when the sea gods stole it. How they shouldered their children and fled with every creature that could crawl, run, fly till time turned truth to myth. It's how it will be as world turns reflective. Seas sated with meltwater, craving more. A cliff fall takes a bungalow. A monstrous tide rips up a coastal train track. Storm fells a thousand-year-old oak, smashes a graceful seaside promenade. Grief for lost wilderness, for the lovesick salmon, lured by sweet river water sleeved in the salt, homing upstream to spawn at the source where it was born, for mating hares in love with the march wind, for thermals lifting a flaunt of red kites over the wood, for bees mooning for honey in weedless fields, for sleepy marsh fritillary butterflies swarming the ancient bog of Korslaurkurt, for the brown hair streak in love with blackthorn and the honeydew of aphids in the ash. For the blackbird's evening aria of possession. For earth's intricate engineering, unpicked like the flesh, sinews, bones of the mother duck crushed on the motorway, her young bewildered in a blizzard of feathers. The balance of things undone by money. The indifferent hunger of the sea.